Now for panning the drum kit, you want to uh, pan it from a audience perspective. So I'm sitting in an audience and I'm watching a band on stage and depending on if the drummer is right-handed, left-handed, whatever the case may be, in this case I am a plain old, plain Jane, right-handed drummer. So what I'm going to do is uh, leave the kick center, leave the snare center. The first tom in the audience perspective would be to the right. So we're going to take that about 75% right and see what it sounds like. Maybe too much. Loop that. Nope, that's about right. And the second tom is just off center. We'll go about 30% right. The third tom is about 30% left. And my first floor tom is far left, so we'll go about 70 or so. And my other tom actually is on uh, the hi-hat side of the kit. So I'm going to pan that about like I did the first time. The hi-hat also to the right. And my overhead right, and I named these from the audience perspective, so my overhead right is going to be about the same thing as the hi-hat. Maybe a little more, just for separation. My overhead center is right dead center. My overhead left is about the same as the overhead right, but opposite. And the ride is just about the same. So if we play the... Uh, drum track now should get a stereo separation provided that comes out on the uh, YouTube video here. Nice stereo separation. Okay, I have recorded the bass line to this song, and it's uh, basically dry other than I put the G-Tune guitar tuner on here to make sure that I stayed in tune. Now that I'm done recording, I don't need that present anymore, but uh, I do want to compress the bass to even it out, um, and I'm going to use the classic compressor that comes with Mixcraft, and I believe it has a bass guitar preset and we'll see how that works out for the bass. Yes, that that compressed it nicely and even out the, uh, the low and high spots. So the next thing I want to do is EQ it a little bit through the parametric on the mixer. It's generally okay flat, but I'm hearing a little bit too much of a certain frequency on the low end so I'm going to add my 31 band equalizer and hit play and find that bad frequency actually I like that one you probably can't hear that but it sounds good through my speakers And I want a little bit of that uh, clicky bass sound, so now I want to level that out as compared to the drum kit. So we'll play both of those together. Bring up the mixer.
finding the snare a little overbearing. Okay, that's a pretty good mix. Next, we'll move on to the first guitar track. <laughs> 